My name is John Spittle. I'm a regional product trainer for Garmin. Um, I do a lot of presentations like this, running through our product line. Um, so how do we actually display Chirp? So we, we can show you on some of the new units that we have out now. Um, with this, Garmin is really the center of it all. This is going to be your main command center on the vessel itself. Your one go-to, you can control everything with the vessel from radar, chart plotter, sonar. You can display engine data, communication, AIS, wireless connectivity. You want to control your vessel through a watch and control your autopilot? You can go ahead and do that also. So first off, we want to start and talk a little bit about GPS and chart plotters. So we have a new icon-driven interface with the glass cockpit series on our 8000. Number one, it makes it simple. You'll see also now that owners actually want to control their vessel. So they're, they're taken away from some of the captains and say, hey, I can use this now. I can customize this screen on the Garmin networks because they're simple and easy to use. You know, it looks like an iPad, and all of this is highly customizable. With this, you can add different icons to your favorites. So it's a one-button touch if you want to go into charts or down view sonar, radar overlay, and so forth. We also add vision cards. So for navigation, like Bob was talking about earlier, before you would have to chart out different um, uh, navigation information. Now you can actually simply on an 8000 series touch a particular destination point and it will give you an auto-guided route to that particular destination. Next you'll see is radar. So in the past we've always been known for GPS, ease of use, but we never really were into the big boat stuff. And now we actually can accommodate larger vessels with the ability to run two separate radars on the vessel itself, giving you great target separation and ease of use. So we brought that, we garmonized the units now to where if you wanted to go in and show birds, we actually have a bird mode that you can press on the user interface now and it will automatically optimize the gain settings on there. And that's dual radar support dynamic auto gain settings. We also give you 2D, 3D views on your radar, and then MARPA targeting. Sonar. So the one screenshot that you actually saw, which was 17,000 feet, that's from our GSD-26. That's our black box sonar device. Um, this is a chirping screenshot here, giving you great target separation. GSD-25, this is a new sonar black box that we just came out with. And what this will actually show you here is some of our down view and side view scanning sonar images. So now you can get more or less a photo-like image of what's beneath the vessel. How does this come into play on larger vessels? If you're looking for a good anchor point, you can actually see what the bottom looks like. Engine data. So we have the ability if a particular engine outputs NEMA 2000 onto the network data, we can show that and view that on the screen. Communications. So AIS, automatic identification system. So we have that capability to where we can actually use through uh, VHF radio frequencies give you information about other vessels and display that over our screens, showing dangerous targets, closest targets points, you can track them, we do have that ability. And then wireless connectivity. I know uh, during lunch we were actually talking about wireless connectivity and that's kind of been a big buzzword is, you know, are you gonna go completely wireless? Well, probably not. You're not gonna see everything on a vessel go completely wireless. But what we do give you is the capabilities of taking some of that information that you see on your displays and projecting it onto an iPad, an Android device. 
So you have complete ability to view and control what you see on those screens. When you network multiple screens together, you actually have a thumb tab on the bottom that you can pick and choose which one you're actually going to view and control. Uh, for owners that don't normally run a boat, they still want to know what's going on on the vessel. So now they can do this through a Garmin Helm app, which is free to download, and then you can go ahead and view that right on your Android or Apple uh, product. Planning. So with Blue Chart Mobile, you have the ability on your iPad or iPhone to go ahead and plan routes and then wirelessly send them to a Garmin device. And then integration with autopilots. So like I said, we're, we're getting into the larger vessels now. You have the ability now on a Garmin device to actually control your Garmin autopilot to make course corrections without having to go to a separate head unit. Some of the new autopilot features that we actually did, we, so we have a lot of market segments with Garmin, aviation, fitness, outdoors. We've actually taken some of that information and technology and brought it into the marine division. And what we're showing here is our new AHARS receiver. It's a nine axis compass to compensate for pitch, roll, and yaw on a vessel. And then finally, video. So with all the cool stuff that we can actually do, people want to be able to input video, show video on the screen um, from a Blu-ray player, from satellite television. Now, before I was talking about the Garmin Hell Map. We can mirror and control our screen. So whatever you're actually seeing on this, you could see on your iPad remotely on the vessel itself. We accept video inputs from our Garmin cameras, from FLIR, and from AXIS. So AXIS actually has IP cameras that we're actually partnering with, and then we can do multiple cameras on a vessel. Currently, right now, we could do up to 16 cameras on the vessel itself. And then finally, video and media control. So the same thing. If you weren't going to just use your um, iPad to view those screens, you could simply just use your phone, download Garmin Helm app, and then control your audio through your phone and act as a remote control. And we have uh, Sirius XM weather and radio antennas that we offer. And finally, digital switching. So this is the Garmin ecosystem the central command center on the vessel, and along with Mastervolt, they came out with a, a product here called C-Zone Integration, which is digital switching. That allows you to take any lights, bilge, and control that right from your Garmin device. That's it. Thank you.